Hold on, I'm getting a drink. We do oh, a time. Jealous? Yeah, you got lots of time. How are you? I am doing um, just wonderfully. I'm so excited that we get to do this today because I've been trying to talk to you guys for forever. And I was like, yes. oh, and a FaceTime interview and everything? This is great. Oh, what's that? A little bit of a pro checko. Oh, we both have one. Now, I kind of feel um, like I should have brought, I didn't know it was I the know. Cheers. We're just <laughs> celebrating the single being out, so. How long have you been, because I always wonder like how long it's been waiting, how long you've been, you know, anticipating this one, because I know this one for you guys is, is really, really special. So is it like we wrote this three years ago or we wrote this 10 days ago? This is a year and a half old song, but we've been sitting on it and like the moment we wrote it, we were like, yeah, Can the, you please put this thing out. The day we wrote it, we were like, holy, holy. Was it one of the things where you looked at your notes in your phone and you had the, the title where I'm from and then you're like, we got to write something with that? Or did something else come into play and that's how it came out? It was one of the guys in Nashville actually came with the title and then he was like, what do you guys think? And like, we like, we wanted to write a song called country music, like just like in general. And he's like, that's way too, like way too straightforward. He's like, I like the idea though, like we can use that. And so that's why for the, the lyric, uh, I think it's all backroads, bonfires, cornfields and country music stemmed from. But yeah, like, and everybody was, in the room that day is like very, pretty small town. Mm -hmm. So I think that helps, especially the guy that came with the idea. He's, he's a small town boy that has moved to Nashville and a writer now. And, but like, I think what the ideas he has are totally right up our alley. Mm -hmm. And we just, we tend to hit it off with all of them very well. It's That's one fun. of the best things about not just country music, but when you grow up in a small town, I grew up in a big city, but getting to work in country music radio, I've worked in small towns and I've met a bunch of people that have lived in small towns. And it is such a connector, no matter which small town you grew up in, everybody sort of had a similar experience, right? Exactly. Totally. And I think that that's what is what this song is about. We're just yeah. so excited about the because everybody has their own idea of where they come from and what made them who they are. And everybody's pretty proud of that, I think, in general. And we just hope that everyone can find themselves in this song somehow. Now, you guys and I have had so much fun talking about where you come from before. So for those who don't know about said Yeehaw Adventure Farm, why was it such a special place to grow up? It was, um, you've heard the story, but yeah, for those who don't know, it was a farm open weekends in October to the public mm -hmm. and the public would come out and it was um, Halloween themed sort of. So there was like a corn maze and a pumpkin patch and Jenna and I, when we were very young, played the halftime show at the pig races. And it was a, I don't want to say the, the S word, but an S show with, uh, <laughs> throughout those years. I, I have to say, when I saw the album artwork for the single, when I, when I downloaded it, I was like, that's the cutest picture ever. Because you guys have, must have so many of those from, from performing back in the day. How'd you choose that one? So many. I mean, that one was just so epic because if you look closely, I think we might be cut off on that one. We should post the original ones so mm -hmm. that everyone can really get an idea of what this picture is. I'm wearing a full one-piece pink snowsuit with mud up to like and those ear way things. past my knees. <laughs> Stuart is like I'm wearing like I'm wearing like my grandpa's snow pants. Stuart had to like take a, out his fake teeth to mm -hmm. sing because he would wear fake hillbilly teeth. Hillbilly teeth. And then I like we didn't like ever think about like guitars or anything. I think it's probably one of the first times we used a guitar, but I didn't have a strap, so I used a bucket to put my knee on and like play into the mic. Like that's how it was just kibosh the whole thing. <laughs> Uh, so we've talked about the Yeehaw Adventure Farm and how much fun you guys had, but what about just the area in which you grew up that we're kind of hearing about in this song, the memories that flood back? What was it like? Yeah, we grew up in a 150-acre farm with like a huge swamp in the back, and and we had every animal you could dream of, and we had parents that were entertainers and dreamers and would push us out on the stage and that was just our normal and then it was kind of in our roots to be out there as well because our grandpa literally lived over the hill and he would drive every morning to our farm and he would sit in the kitchen and laugh at us when we got ready for school and then like it was just a, when I think back as much work as it was it was a very magical place to grow up it really was. and just being around the country and being around the openness and fields and I think it shaped us for sure. I know that we live downtown Toronto right now, but it's it's definitely in our roots and it's who we are for sure. You say you grew up with a bunch of animals. I'm going to ask each of you, Stu, what was your favorite animal that you had around your house growing up? 
I think I like the donkey. Our donkey's name was Sunflower. <laughs> and then Sunflower, of course it would be. Sunflower had a girlfriend. The Sunflower was a boy for some reason. His name was Sunflower. Yeah. And then he, uh, we brought in a girl. His girlfriend's name was Brittany. <laughs> Brittany and Sunflower. Did you get to name them or did they come with names? No, they, no, they came with like, names yeah. and we're like, we're not changing. Like her name was yeah. Brittany. But like, I remember Sunflower being like one of the first actual like big animals like mm -hmm. that we owned and like we used to like ride it. I don't know if you're supposed to ride donkeys, but like we like still did. Like, ah, I feel like if they're yours, you can do whatever you want. Uh, Je yeah. Jenna, what was yours, the animal that you loved being around the most? We had like a ton of goats. Goats are the funniest things. We, we had like a thing, what was it? Hydropoles? Hydropoles. We had like five hydropoles, and then my parents built a walking ramp, and the goats would walk all the way up hydropoles and all the way around. Like it forty was, feet high. These are like African pygmy goats that are like their footing was perfect. And they're just funny animals. They're like pretty smart. They like they would escape and like try to run away and sharpen their horns and ruin all of my dad's trees that he planted. <laughs> and it was just crazy. Yeah, I really like the goats actually. There's a company now that is allowing you to pay a hundred dollars and they will add in a goat or a llama to your zoom meeting that are getting boring for a lot of people who do these every day. So how awesome would that be? That'd be amazing. Let's bring them in. Let's bring them in. We actually have one. <laughs> oh, perfect. Um, I was kind of making the comparison in my head as you were describing where you grew up with all the animals around. How much was it like Tiger King without the tigers? It actually kind of was. <laughs> Like it kind of was. That's why I'm like, my mom is not, our mom has not seen it yet. I'm like, if she sees it, she might get like, be like, wow, you know what? This is actually everything we did. She doesn't have the evil side of Joe Exotic, but she definitely has like the, the exotic side. The like <laughs> wants to be famous side. Like Joe Exotic is our mom in that. And place. like loves like the idea of how he's like the king of the park and everything like that. Like it just, it's so very much like he -haw. I've met your mom and she's wonderful. And I was gonna ask if she's more Joe or more Carol, but you already answered it. She's definitely more Joe than Carol. Oh, Carol's. I said to her the other day, she is sliced down the middle. Both. Oh, really? Because she teaches yoga. She loves to entertain. It's like. But she hasn't killed dad yet. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we know where you stand on the whole, did Carol kill her husband? Because of course oh, she, she definitely did. did. Of course she did. Um, with, with how you guys grew up, is that making quarantine a little bit easier because you were so used to when you were kids making your own fun, being on the farm, and you're kind of like, yeah, this is what we did growing up anyways. We'll figure this out. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, I think that we were um, before, like right before this all happened, the uh, Junos were going to happen, and we were going to go on like a tour out of East and everything like that. We were very psyched about, and then everything just went on pause, and we took for granted. Like we were almost just like, oh my gosh, we have so much to do within the next month, and now we have nothing to do. Yeah, and I, I was saying to Stu, like, I think it's just a great song to put out right now. It's, mm -hmm. it's kind of what everyone, you're brought right back to your roots in what's important. It's like, okay, I wake up today and your days are unplanned and the people around you are your family and your neighbors sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then all that matters is your hometown. And you are literally brought back to where you're from. It's true. I love that. And, and I, I saw your quarantine song that you guys put out, which I played on my show and people loved. So congratulations on that. <laughs> what else have you been filling your days with besides writing and putting out amazing songs? I mean, it's, it's a mixed bag every day, you know? Mm. It's like, am I going to cry today? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I, I do. Mean, trying, to, trying to pick up old habits, like good habits, not like smoking or anything, but I mean, like, <laughs> I used to. I used to play the banjo and I went to Cambridge, picked up my banjo and like, I'm trying to like relearn it now for yeah. like, the shows and like, it's just good to try to have a project every week. And I've been trying to learn guitar a little bit too. So we can add that to the show maybe. Yeah. I don't want to add the pressure because it makes me nervous. Yeah, but we'll, but see. we'll see what happens. If, if we're all going to learn instruments we used to play, the only thing I could relearn is the recorder. And I think somebody might shove that down my throat in my house. If I try <laughs> to yeah, that, that can last about, you've got like three minutes. The recorder is a true test whether you can stand music or not, like to play it, because it's so annoying, even if you're the best player at it. It's such an annoying instrument. <laughs> so I have something I set up for you guys, because you know how I love games. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the game is called Where I'm From, and there's two options you can play. The Canadian Country Star version or the TV show version. Whoa. We get to choose? Yeah. Oh. TV show. Let's do it. Yeah, TV show. Okay, so I'm going to read you a name. You'll tell me where they're from, which TV show. 
Okay. okay. Starts off very easy. My first crush, Topanga Lawrence. I'm sorry, what was that? Topanga Lawrence. I, I'm gonna Did we have TV on the Yeehaw Adventure Farm or not? Well, that's a good question. We weren't allowed to watch a lot, so. <laughs> well, <laughs> was that was Boy Meets World? Is it Wayne's World? Boy Meets World? Yeah. No, I've never watched that. No. Tough start to the game. We're, we're losers. <laughs> okay, that's one. one You're going to figure that out. One big X. We'll get the next one. AC Slater. Huh? AC Slater. Oh, AC Slater. Oh, I don't know. I do I know his name, but I do not know. It's not the trailer for the reboot just came out yesterday. Oh. Guys, who's AC Slater? <laughs> Stewart's roommate. There's no help. There's no phone a friend. Um, Save by the Bell. I didn't watch any of that either. Okay, we'll go a little more current. Pam Beasley. <laughs> the Office. Okay, okay, we got one. We got one. Gunther. Who? Gunther. Why am I so bad at this? Gunther. Secondary character in love with Rachel, could never get her. Oh, friends? friends. Yeah. Okay. Kind of, from the coffee shop. Okay, yes, correct. Got it. Is that the guy um, with the white hair? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. The soup Nazi. I know. Got no. it. Peter, Peter Griffin. Family guy. Peter Griffin. Daenerys Targaryen. G. Land of oh, Time. G. <laughs> Game of Thrones. Land of Time. I don't know. That's not the first thing that came to my head. Uh, Carol Baskin. <laughs> hey, are you cool Puzzle. catching kittens? <laughs> Marty Bird. Marty Bird. Oh, 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 sorry. Thank you. Oh. What I'm currently binge watching, so it was like the first name that came to me. <laughs> I think Saul I like Goodman. Who, sorry? Saul Goodman. Oh, bring him back. Or Better Call Saul, either one you wanted to do. Seth Cohen. Seth Cohen. Seth Cohen show? The OC. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> is it Cohen? Yeah, it is Cohen. Yeah. yeah, I had to Google his last name because I couldn't remember it either. Remember the dark haired girl always called him, always called him Cohen? Oh, correct. Summer. Correct. He named his boat after her. That's right. That's right, Summer. <laughs> Patty Mayonnaise. <laughs> Who? Patty Mayonnaise. Maddie Mayonnaise. Patty Mayonnaise. Madam. Patty Mayonnaise. Patty. <laughs> Her last name is Mayonnaise. This on it's SpongeBob. It's a cartoon. SpongeBob. Is it um? Is it like? Is it like? Uh, it's real. Hard. It was one of my favorite cartoons growing up. It was called Doug, and that was his love interest. Oh, I remember Doug. Doug's old, right? Well, we have Disney Plus now, so we're watching it with our daughter. Oh, um, got it. TJ Detweiler. Uh, recess. There we go. Do you guys want to try the Canadian country star game? I'm going to read you the name of a Canadian country star. You tell me what province they're from. Okay. Like, this is hard. This is tough. Yeah, because this is very hard. For us, after after pretty much Manitoba on, it's just a blur. They're like, well, from, well you're from out west. But okay, you guys might want to chug a little bit of the champagne before we get to this game. <laughs> Okay, and anybody hearing this, don't judge us. We're actually losers. Okay, yeah, here we go. You're wonderful. Uh, Dallas Smith. Vancouver, or BC, sorry. BC. There you go. James Barker Band. Ontario. Uh, Ontario. Lindsay L. Calgary. Nailed it. Oh, good yes. job. She grew up um, five minutes from my house. Okay. I Perfect. just see her in Nashville now, so mm -hmm. it's hard to know now. Uh, Dean Brody. He's out west for sure. BC. BC is right. You guys are really good at this game. Oh. I just usually say out west. They're from out west. <laughs> out west does not count as a correct no, answer. No, I know, I know. Uh, Mackenzie Porter. Me isn't she from Medicine Hat? Which oh. is? Alberta. Alberta? Yes! Okay. Tay Bay. Tay Bay. Oh. Ontario. Yeah. Right? Okay, okay. Oh, Tim no. Hicks. Tim Hicks, Ontario. St. Catharines. See, I'm kind of lobbing you guys softballs here. Yeah, yeah right. thank you very much. Um, Tennille Towns. BC. No. Calgary. No. But Alberta is right. Alberta? 
Yeah, Grand know. Prairie, small town. Oh, I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> um, let's go two more. Brett Kissel. Alberta. Alberta is right. Yeah. Out west. Out west is right. Yeah, that's right. And uh, Paul Brandt. Oh. I'm Alberta bound. That's the good way to end it. That's a good way to end it. Guys, I appreciate your time so much. I'm loving the new single. I've been uh, kind of having it on repeat all day. Is there one thing that you want to tell people about why this song is so special to you before I played on my show today? This is our favorite song that we've ever released to date, I would say. Um, it made us cry the first time we heard it. Uh, it still makes us cry when we watch the new music video, which is coming soon. Um, and we just hope that everybody loves it as much as they mm -hmm. love all the other stuff so far. We hope that you can find yourself in this song and just be proud of where you came from, even in these uncertain times. Mm -hmm. Why did it make you cry? I don't know. It Wait just... till you see the video. It comes out very soon. It's... We also may we also may release the demo and it's so stripped down, but I just remember like we it was like the day that we wrote it, we sang it and like it's just it was so stripped down and like we just didn't even know if it was a good song because when you hear it so many times you don't know if you like it or not. But like the two days after we heard it, we were like definitely a couple of basket cases. Mm -hmm. I love it. Hey guys, thank you so much for your time. I always appreciate chatting with you. Stay safe and say hi to the fam for me, okay? Yeah, yes. say hi to your family too. Hope you guys are I will. Yes. Love all the, all the the posts about your kid and everything. She's so, so cute. cute. Isn't she cute? You have to say that because you're talking to me, but isn't she cute? No, she is. <laughs> We're watching the stories. Yeah, no, that's a cute baby. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much. And like yeah, I said, yeah. be safe. We'll see each other soon, I'm sure. Have a great day. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Yeah.